Dinner is ready. Yeah, yeah, I'm coming. Hey guys, welcome back to uh, another Detroit Become Human uh, episode. Yeah, as we do our walk through this game. There wasn't much in the kitchen. I did what I could. So, um, yeah, we're just currently... We're back with Kara. Um, who's obviously stuck with this absolutely mental guy. I don't know, like, what... I don't even think he knows what, what's going on. Uh, serve Alice and Tom. What? Serve them what? Life's funny. I lost my job because of androids. Obviously, I'm going to pull her. I need somebody to take care of this goddamn house. What do I do? Go do, 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 do. fucking android. What a joke. Androids are so fucking wonderful. Okay, no, no, no. They never Hold fail. On. They're never tired. They're never sad. Yeah, the fucking robots, that's why you dumbass. They're so fucking perfect, they ruined my fucking life. Oh yeah. Alright then. Sure it wasn't the drugs and the alcohol and multiple. <laughs> <laughs> Not this again. What's your fucking problem? Jesus man! He's a kid! <laughs> Not the life you dreamed of, eh? <laughs> it's so funny when he turns on you this easy. quickly. Maybe you think it's my fault we live in this fucking shithole. <laughs> my fault your fucking mother took off. <laughs> you should Christ. stop taking drugs, Todd. Oh, no, Sometimes you really scare me, Todd. Fucking bitch took off without a word. Jesus. What? Fucking whore walked out on me for a fucking account! It's all your fault. Daddy, no! It's all your fucking fault! <laughs> Sorry, guys. Okay, now it got a little bit serious. Get back here. Come back here? Come back here right now! Jesus, man. There's being a dick and then there's that. Whoa! Don't you dare fucking move. Whoa, or I'll man. You worse than last time. What do you mean worse than? Whoa! Oh, I want to move. Let me move. Let me move. Oh, oh, what are we doing here? What are we doing? Jesus! Wait, are we breaking out of our programming? That's cool if that. Jesus. Oh, wait, I think we broke out of our programming. Yeah, we did. Yeah, we broke out of our programming. We can either protect Alice or reason with Todd. Okay, I'm not a moron. Yeah, he's obviously going to think he. Okay, let's just hurry. Let's just hurry. Okay, let's go. I'm going to go into her. I think she needs the support at the moment. Can we lock the door? He's coming! He's gonna hurt me! Run! Get away! Or he's gonna break you like last time! Oh. Lock room. Lock the room! Daddy's coming! Lock the door! <laughs> Jesus Christ! Okay, got really tense now. Okay, let's go. The window, 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 go go out, go out, go out, go out, oh my god, it's getting really tense now, Jesus Christ, oh my god, join Alice, come back here right now, Oh god. Okay, we need to go. We need to go. Why didn't you just like shut the window on him? Carrie. Oh my god. This is actually really tense now. Nice, we did it. Okay, let's go. We need to run. 
Okay, let's get on the bus, get on the bus, get on the bus, get on the bus, get on the bus. Whew, I think we made the right choice there. We didn't kill him, we didn't do anything stupid. We could have so easily got that gun out of his draw, but... Nah, we'll just, we'll just escape the unviolent way. Oh, I think she likes us now. Like, fully like, we're like almost a mother figure to her now, so... Hopefully, uh, that's the end of, that's the end of Todd, for now. Hopefully, I pray. Christ almighty, if it isn't. I think we'll just continue on from that, because that wasn't a very long mission, I don't think. I think it was like a ten minute mission at most, yeah. Barely anything. I feel like that other option was Todd dies. I feel like the the only other options were Todd dies. You get caught by Todd, and Todd beats you up and breaks you again. That's all I was, uh, that's all I'm guessing, anyway. Oh, alright, we're back at, uh, Thingy's house, aren't we? Rich guy's house. That was by far the most boring party I've been to in the last 25 years. Every time I go to one of these, I ask myself, what the hell am I doing here? I hate cocktail parties. All the <laughs> schmoozers that go there. Well, it's a chance for all those people who admire your work to meet you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No one gives a damn about art. All they care about is how much money they're gonna make out of it. Come on, let's have a drink. Oh, the excitement of this whole thing has made me thirsty. <laughs> I like Carl. I think he's pretty, pretty cool guy. Scotch, neat as usual. Absolutely. Okay, but you know what your doctor would say. Yeah, well, he can kiss my ass. I'm old enough to choose my own medication. <laughs> He's great. Jesus. Did you leave the light on in the studio? No, no, I'm sure I didn't. Call the police. Call. Detroit police, what's your emergency? This is Carl Manfred's android at 8941 Lafayette Avenue. We've just returned home and found the lights on. There may have been a break-in. A patrol car is on the way. Let's go check it out. Okay. What's this gonna be then? Who's that? Leo! Oh, it's his son. The what are you doing? You refuse to help me, so I'm helping myself. It's crazy what some people pay for this shit. Don't touch them. Look, they're all gonna be mine sooner or later anyway. Just think of it as a down payment on my inheritance. Marcus, get him away from there. Get him out of here. Come on, you have to leave now. Order. Leo, don't make this difficult. Listen to your father. All you ever do is tell me to go away. What's wrong, Dad? Not good enough for you? Not perfect, like this fucking thing. That's enough! Get out! Right now! What makes it so special anyway, huh? What's it got that I don't- Leave him alone! Come on! Let's see what you got! Marcus, don't defend yourself, you hear me? Don't do anything. Oh, no. Go ahead, hit me. What you waiting for? Think you're a man? Act like one! Stop it! What's the matter, too much of a pussy? Stop it, Leo! Stop it! Just scared to fight back, you fucking bitch! Oh my god. Okay, we're gonna break out. Let's go. Oh yes! Mate, you messed with the wrong android. Bang me! You messed with the wrong android today, mate. If there's an option to hit oh, this right, guy, I'm hitting him because right. he is a you're prick. A person. You're just a fucking piece of plastic. No, Leo, leave him alone. No. I'm going to destroy you. Then it'll just be me and my dad. I'm going to tear you apart. And nobody's going to... I don't care, mate. Toss it. God. Oh no. Leo. I don't think I should have done that. Crap. My little boy. He's dead. Carl, I. I shouldn't have done that. I should have endured it. 
They'll destroy you, Marcus. You gotta go. Get out of here. Carl, I, I, I didn't mean to. Get out! Now! Go! Marcus! Don't fucking move! Damn! Mox! Oh my god, I made the wrong choice. Mox is dead. Oh my god, I made the wrong choice. Mox is dead. God, again, that was quite a quick mission, so I think we can probably squeeze in maybe one or two more. Depends how quick the next one will be. Oh yeah, of course, it's the guy that we found him. Yeah, the guy that we found him, like, the attic. We have to interrogate him by the looks of it. How long were you in the attic? Say something, goddammit! <laughs> Fuck it, I'm out of here. He's not talking, is he, asshole? I think he's a bit broken. We're wasting our time interrogating a machine. We'll get nothing out of it. You can always try roughing up a little. After all, it's not human. Androids don't feel pain. You would only damage it, and that wouldn't make it talk. Deviants also have a tendency to self-destruct when they're in stressful situations. Okay, smartass. What should we do then? I could try questioning it. <laughs> <laughs> what do we have to lose? Go ahead. Suspect's all yours. Okay. Okay. We can... I reckon we go bad cop, though, guys. I reckon we go bad cop here. I reckon we just rip into him. Just give him some brutal truth. Extract a confession. Okay. I don't know what's uh, what we're gonna do here, but hopefully we can. There's an option to be nasty, because if because I feel like that's the best way. Okay, definitely analyze first. Let's see the things on his arms. I noticed instantly. Burn marks. So they're like oh cigar marks and hit marks as well. He's been hit. He's been burnt. He's been everything at the minute. Okay. Okay. So he's been hit, burned, he's been, he's obviously murdered. Oh, he's a thingy. Okay, so he's not anywhere near self-destructing. Okay, let's interrogate him. Okay, so we have to really stress him out by the looks of it. My name is Connor. What about you? What's your name? Okay, well that, that didn't stress him out at all. You're damaged. Did your owner do that? Did he beat you? He arrested you. If you don't cooperate, they'll do things the hard way. Is that what you want? There we go, yeah. That stress him out. Probe a memory. If you won't talk, I'm going to have to probe your memory. No! No, please don't do that. Oh. Oh. What? What are they gonna do to me? I'm gonna be brutally honest here, mate. They are gonna... They're gonna destroy me, aren't they? Yeah, they're gonna fuck you up, mate. They're going to disassemble you to look for problems in your bio components. They have no choice if they want to understand what happened. Why did you tell them you found me? Why couldn't you just have left me there? Because I'm pretty sure I'm programmed. I was programmed to hunt deviants like you. I just accomplished my mission. I don't want to die. Then talk to me. I... I... I can't. 
do you mean you can't? Pursue it. Pre-assure it. Probe its memory. Probe you its leave memory. me no choice. Oh, no, I failed. Jesus, man. So many buttons. Jesus. its memory. I know what happened. Okay, seen a bit, mate. Yeah, that's right. We do things are hard. Right? Oh no, he's gonna kill himself. He's trying to kill himself, I think. Is it destroying itself? Yeah, it is. He's trying to kill itself. Yep. Stop it, goddammit! What do you do? I, I, I can't. Just grab its head! I can't stop it. You moron! I just give up on him. Holy shit. Bit fucking moronic if I'm honest, but alright. Sure. Uh, I believe this video has gone on for about 20 minutes now, something like that. There was a third, four, there was four options out of that. What other options? Yeah, I get, I could have just not done anything, got nothing out of him. <clears throat> I don't know. I might continue, I'm not sure. 20 some minutes might just be too much. Then again, the last episode was like half an hour. I'll tell you what, we'll do one more and then we'll go. Because then, we, then we've made a good little bit of progression. God knows what we'll do now. Though. I wonder if we're going back to. Well, Marcus is dead, so I don't think we'll see him. I think he was just an example of good people. So I don't think we'll actually see Marcus again. I think Marcus is dead forever. I feel like I made the wrong choice, guys, with a uh, uh, fighting back against his son. I think I probably should have endured it, unfortunately. Oh, we're well, back with Kara. Okay. All right. End of the line. End of the line? Yeah, you're gonna have to leave. Come on, wake up. Wake, wake up. up. Do not sleep we on me. Child. Listen, we have nowhere to go. She's exhausted and it's pouring rain. Can we just stay for a little while? This bus is going back to the depot. There's nothing I can do. At least he was kind about it. At least he didn't say no, go off the bus. At least he was kind about it. That's fair. I get it. Right, it looks like we're, our main objective here is going to be to like find a place to stay for the night. So I'm hoping that it isn't going to be like really okay. hard to find somewhere. We'll find somewhere to spend the night. Gotta hurry. Okay, let's see. It was here. I believe. I know, around here.
Alright, uh, there's definitely something down here, I think. What are we doing here? Oh. What are we supposed to be doing? Well, it didn't give me that choice before, man. Come on. Alice, you're freezing cold. I'm okay. I'm not so cold. You look lost. Oh, yes. We have nowhere to go. I know someone who can help you. But that's on the other side of town. We need a place for tonight. Okay, so we've got a place to go to. We haven't got a place for now, though. Come on, Alice. Thank you for using Detroit buses. Okay, if we go... We need to find a place for tonight, then. Oh, God. That was really awkward. Um. Oh, there's something around here. What's this? Oh, is that a car? Well, that'd be pretty useful, actually. We could get a car from across town. Yeah. Okay, so... Are we bleeding? Because I feel like Connor's the sole person to pick that up, especially after the mission where uh, he figured out... Uh, well, where we found out that he can actually see blue blood. And that led to us actually finding him. It looks yeah. abandoned. Okay, so we... There we go. Cool. Let's see now. Car. A car isn't a bad place to stay. I mean, it's well out the way, isn't it? Like, it was hidden behind a massive gate. Ooh, I would it's dry inside, and nobody will find us here. I don't want to sleep in there. Why? Can we find a better place? What else is it? I believe there was a motel off in the distance, which is probably another option. Then there was the store, I think. I mean... I mean, okay. we'll have a look, but we'll I very better. highly doubt we're going to find much better than that. Like, I am going to guarantee we won't find anything better than that. Eight months. It's gonna be impossible to find anything. Yeah. Um. What were the other places? What's this? An abandoned house. At least we'd be out of the rain. Kara, I don't like this place. I know. But it's just for one night and no one will look for us here. Um, so there's a house, that's way too obvious. And then the other one I believe is a motel, like somewhere off in the distance. Hey, what's sod it, we'll stay in the car, I don't care. The car's a much better place to stay in anyway. I just think it's better. Like, you're not going to get spotted really well out of the way. We're staying here. I don't care. We're better off staying, Alice. The important thing is for us to be safe. And it's just for tonight. Why well, don't one of you get in the front? Like, I'm pretty sure as an android, she doesn't need to sleep anyway. So I don't get it. Wouldn't it just be easier to, because you don't have to sleep, you can just. Why was he always so upset with me? Because he was a drug. All I wanted was oh. a life like other girls. And pray. That's what he wanted. Maybe I did something wrong. Maybe I wasn't good enough. 
that's why he was always so angry. I just wanted us to be a family. I just wanted him to love me. Mm -hmm. Why can't we just be happy? I get that. I don't know, Alice. You'll never leave me, right? Promise you'll never go. Promise. I promise. Will we be together forever? Well, I'll probably have a longer lifespan than you, so. Forever. <laughs> probably not. I wonder if Connor can break out of his program because he seems like the most like obedient of any of them. Like he seems like really, really chill about everything. So I don't know. I, think, I just think he feel he seems a lot more chill. See, so yeah, I reckon thingy. Okay. Anyway, guys, I think that's where I'm going to end the episode. I do hope you've enjoyed, and. I will see you guys next time.